we've just got our hands on the Skoda Superb. It's 280 PS, it does not to 60 and 5.8. I think we need to take it out for a drive. As you can see, we've got somewhat of an animal on review today. This is a Skoda Superb. You've got a fuel computer in the middle, you've got active cruise control, power folding door mirrors, all the other things Michael mentioned, and it's, it's also got uh, the thing that we saw in the Karok as well, where it advises you things to make your car more economical. For example, put the window up and eco change tips. to skinnier wheels and such like that. Yeah, eco tips, that's the word, yeah. Um, like, I'm just going to sort of list off some of the equipment that comes on all Sportline models. Yes. 19 inch wheels, Alicantra Sport seats. Yes. 18-inch colour touchscreen infotainment seat system, bison on headlights, uh, black roof headlining, carbon optic interior elements, drive mode selection, electrically adjustable driver's seat with memory function and lumbar support, electrically adjustable heating folding, folding door mirrors. Oh, this is uh, it's very well kitted out. It's um, it's it's a premium car, isn't it? It's available in a hatch and an estate. Yeah. However, this is no normal Skoda Superb. This has 280 PS and it has a 2 litre TSI engine, which um, we think is very similar to the Golf engine. And my word, can it shift? And it's also DSG and 4x4 too. Does not 60 and 5.8. Now, Michael's only seen it drive past him so far, so let's show him how fast this will actually accelerate. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm not going to be ill. Oh, you'll be fine. Well, on paper it does 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds. I, I dread to think what it does not to 100 in. On private land, of course. Yes, yes, of course. Um, but yes, let's just sit. We're in S2. Ah, I see that really nice sign that means national speed limit. So, are we ready? Yes. Oh, oh my! Uh, yes! It can really go, can Yes! It? Not only in third... Oh my! Only in third gear. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know why we're surprised at 280 PS. Well, that's it. You've got a recipe for a, a very fast car with the 2 litre TSI engine, a DSG gearbox, and, and four-wheel wheel drive. drive. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It, it's not surprising that it can go very, very fast. But also, it, yeah, it'll road handle very well as well. Yes. I mean, I'm assuming because it's the DSG and it's, it's got the bigger engine, when you put your foot down in something like this, it'll, yeah, then do that. And roars with it. Do you know something? Even though we're in sport mode, like this road, as we've discovered today, isn't the best road surface in the world. It's not. But how quiet is it in here and also how comfortable Well, all is you it? can hear is that, which is what you want yeah, to hear. Yeah. Like, I think it has quite a nice exhaust note, this oh, car yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, it sounds awesome. You've got plenty of tech on this car as well. You've got all the things you might expect. You've got sat nav, you've got DAB radio, cruise control, automatic lights, automatic wipers. I'm assuming. I know, um, uh, dual zone climate control. Heated with... front seats, heated windscreen, um, three spoke level steering wheel, dynamic chassis control. There we go, mention that. Yeah. Right, I'll mention that, should I? Yeah. Now, one thing that sets this car apart from the uh, lower, uh, no, the, uh, the, what's the This is, sport? well, just like, like, this is the Sportline you do also get. Oh, it's the Sportline, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. You're probably wondering why this car handles so well, and that's because it's got dynamic chassis controls, so you just go through the infotainment system and press Sport. I'm sure there's other settings as well, but the one I'm really interested in is Sport. And why not? As you can see, I'm making uh, Michael lurch forwards and backwards. Um, the thing about this car is it's very refined as well. That DSG gearbox is very seamless. Um, and it takes acceleration extremely well. I mean, you kick down, there's no hesitance. It's just, does that. Um, it's very, very, very good. I do love that tone. 
What's it getting economy-wise? Probably not very much with me driving. <laughs> um, let me find out. Uh, no, that, that's an address. Uh, okay. Uh, what does it say on paper? Uh, 39.8. 39.8. I, I the have back no button, the button to your right hand side of it. That? The app. And press it again. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. What's that? ACC deactivated. I hope that's not something that's important. Um, we should go back and it's rained about. Yeah. Um, well, that clear looks like it wants a race. I know. I was thinking it, it, it may well be wanting to play. This will be funny. Yes, I could get used to this car. <laughs> um, yeah. The thing about it is it's very manageable power. You put your foot down, it feels quick, but there's no twisty. It's, it grips very well. The dynamic chassis control makes it very, very easy to handle. It's, it's four-wheel drive as well, isn't it? That yeah, just, exactly. It well, just gives it. you peace of mind. It does. That, that, that's the problem. When you get cars, when they've got you know, this amount of horsepower, it's the front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. Down. They can't get the power down. Yeah, very true. Especially in England, you know, we get lots of rain. So you really do want that extra peace of mind with the four-wheel drive. Yes, I can imagine 4x4 drifting would be rather fun in this. <laughs> Obviously on private land, but it, it is... Just on the way to the shops or, you know, on the, the school road. The size of the car, hmm. it does feel very... You've got feeling. It's not some lumbering beast that has absolutely no feeling. Because bigger cars, sometimes, you know, they're, they're a little less, you know... For example, I'm comparing it to the VRS or the Fabia Zero, you know, 5 play. Yeah. That's the flex in it. And this, it feels... It feels more, like more that. it feels more hot hatchy than Executive yes. Saloon. There you go. That, yeah, that's probably what I'm trying to say whilst beating around the bush. Um, um, but still, it is very comfortable. It's very spacious. It's very practical. Oh, I love it. Okay, it's not the most economical model, but performance. But you can get a range of engines, can't you? And gearboxes. That's it. There's also diesel engines on offer as well yes. if you're really after economy. And lower um, output petrols as well. Yeah. Well, let's face it, we're not going to go for um, economy, are we? Not when you can do that. I, yeah. Mm. It's, um, yes, it's rather fun. Tell you what, it's got a bit of an exhaust tone. Inside it's very comfortable. You've got lots of premium materials everywhere. You've got this leather wrapped steering wheel and it's flat bottomed as well to give you that kind of sporty feel. You've got soft touch plastics on the dash, big infotainment screen, and then you've got the DSG gearbox. It's just, well, it's set up very sportily, but it will do because it's a sport line. But you've got like a mixture of, it's like a carbon fiber style trim that runs just behind the infotainment system. Dual zone climate control, all-round electric windows, power folding door mirrors, active cruise control, auto lights, rain sensing wipers, and, well, pretty much everything you need, isn't it? Yay! You've got a fully slidable sunroof, reading lights, the switch gear in here is very, very nice. Everything's got a great feel to it. And it also looks very, very executive with the glossy feel. Also gives it the sporty look with the stitching, with the leather gaiter. It's the perfect cruiser, isn't it? It's a perfect blend of practicality and performance. It certainly is. It's very roomy, isn't it? I mean, if you're in the back seats, I mean, it does look... It's quite a distance to the rear headrest. Everything in this car is premium, down from the sound system through to the leather in the seats. It's just... Well, it's superb, in a word. The exterior looks speak for themselves. You've got 19-inch wheels. You've got these really sporty looks. I mean, just look at the grille. I mean, if you think about it, they actually, the new Fabias are very, very close to this, but it just looks, well, aggressive, but it should be. It's 280 PS. 